Ever pondered the outcome of a war waged by monkeys? Let's take a journey into the foggy forests of Northern California, where two unlikely groups cross paths. On one side, we have a band of chimpanzees, led by the wise and brave Caesar. On the other, we find a group of orangutans under the command of the fierce and bloodthirsty colonel. As the two groups lock eyes, the air crackles with tension. The chimpanzees, full of concern, seek a peaceful resolution. We are here to make peace, declares Caesar, hoping to bridge the divide. But the colonel, his eyes ablaze with anger, laughs off the proposal. Peace, you're stupid. We are here to destroy you. Despite Caesar's plea for unity, the colonel's declaration rings clear. Never, we will destroy you. As Caesar's final words, then prepare for war, echo through the forest. Both groups steel themselves for the battle ahead. The forest, once a place of peace, now turned into a battlefield. The tension between Caesar's chimpanzees and Colonel's orangutans erupted into a fierce and brutal conflict. The battle was not for the faint-hearted. Stones and sticks clashed against teeth and claws. Each side, despite their fear, fought with a determination fueled by survival. At the heart of the battlefield were Caesar and Colonel. Caesar, the wise leader, encouraged his troop, while Colonel, the ruthless antagonist, fought with a ferocity to annihilate his adversaries. The forest echoed with the sounds of their struggle, cries of pain, roars of anger, and the unsettling silence of loss. As the sun set, the battle continued unabated. It was a test of endurance, of will, and of the raw, primal instinct to survive. The forest bore witness to the heavy toll the battle took on both sides. Hours of relentless fighting pass, leaving the forest floor stained and scarred. When the dust finally settles, a victor emerges. Caesar, against all odds, has emerged victorious in this grueling battle. The forest, once a peaceful sanctuary, now bears the scars of this fierce combat. The chimpanzees, though battered and bruised, wear expressions of triumph. In this moment of victory, they do not forget the cost of their freedom. The ground underfoot, littered with the remnants of the fight, serves as a stark reminder of the price they've paid. But it's a price they were willing to pay for a future free from tyranny. Caesar, their wise and brave leader, stands before them. His voice, steady and strong, breaks the silence. We have won, but this is not the end. We must be ready for any attack by humans. His words, a call to vigilance, are met with resounding cheers. With a shout of Caesar, 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 echoing through the forest, they step into a future full of hope and peace, prepared for whatever may come.